Did Elsa Bloodstone make a meta impact? What sort of impact has she had in the game? Obviously in the last seven days, we're going to continue to do this for each new card. We're gonna look at some stats. Has it impacted what we've been seeing? We'll look at decks, etc. Let's jump in. Do I like to analyze stats? I like to look at numbers sometimes, things, places, all that sort of thing. So we're gonna look at a number of resources again, similar to what we look at for meta deck type stuff, but this time we're gonna hard focus on Elsa. We're going to recap before she, well, in this case, it's a season card, so it's not like the other weeks where you might be at your final moment to decide if you want to get the card or not. This time it's a season pass card, so maybe you're deciding if you want to buy it or not. But we're going to recap it regardless and sort of do this as like a little weekly series thing, I think. So we'll see how you guys like it. Let me know what your thoughts are, how to improve, etc. I would love to hear in the comments below. All right, so Elsa. We're going to start off on Marvel Snap Zone. We're going to look at untap.gg and we're going to look at snap.fan. So the way we've got set up at Marvel Snap Zone right now uh, is we've, this says Conquest Muta. It's not, it's actually ranked. Uh, the It's just weird. So we're going to have average cubes, the collection uh, 3,500 plus, seven days for all of these, obviously. And then the rank right now, we're going to start from 80 to 99. We'll look at 102, but we're going to go from there. So the first one, first deck right away, Elsa. And it says she's critical. It's a 80, 58% win rate. We're obviously sorting by average cubes, 0.64 cubes. That's not bad. Not huge, but not bad. Meta share is gigantic. That is to be expected with a new card, 29.55%. The Elsa bounce stuff, I've I've been playing the move bounce version. I love it. I think it's a lot of fun. Jeff Elsa. So this is looks like it's a little bit of a combination between Kazar, Blue Marvely with ones and Elsa. I don't see, and I guess Angela to help with some of these move cards. Oh, we've only got two of them though. Uh, I'm surprised this one is doing as well as it's doing, frankly. We'll see what, what this, if this one shows up in the uh, 100 plus rank. Well, I, I don't know if I'd buy that there. Then the next couple, no Elsa, no Elsa, no Elsa. All right, here we go. Sarah Elsa. This is 0.57, so a little bit lower than the other ones. This is uh, similar to what we had, I think, in the upper left here, but we've got some Elsa version, or I'm sorry, Elsa and Sarah together in that one. A small meta share, though, 56% win rate, still pretty solid. Elsa move, good win rate, lower average cubes. I'm playing some, oh, no, I'm not playing this. Lots more move in this than I've been playing. Control Thanos, wave, null. All right, so, I mean, Elsa, uh, according to this, has made a pretty good impact in this one. Let's look specifically just at 100 plus here. All right, uh, Hella Modok jumps way high. And then we've got Sarah Elsa jumping up a little bit. We talked about that one before. I think that's a pretty solid deck. The, this is a 0.82 average cubes there. So so the average cubes definitely went up uh 61 percent win rate pretty darn good uh that's pretty impressive elsa move 0.7 cubes it's really good uh wave high true all right we're so we've got two we've got two else's in the top or one two well that's it all right so we've got two else's in the top five and then we've got another elsa here and what's this two four six eight 10 and we've got what like three or four uh, four else's in the top 10 according to this one pretty good Eliath, the card that's a lot of people are talking about is only showing up once 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 in the top 10 that's well okay we sort of surprised to see that there i'm not gonna lie all right so that's what we got on marvel snap so i you know look we can switch this to conquest but right now i'm not sure a lot of people are playing conquest let's switch this to uh average cubes um all right gold infinite for now i don't love doing that but uh all right so she's top three she's she makes it twice in the top four so she's controlling 50 percent of uh the top four which is pretty solid and then here she is again so that's what two four six eight ten so three times in the top ten that's pretty good i think that's a pretty solid impact for meta uh on conquest as well uh, again the last seven days let's look at untapped.gg i want to see what they've got this one we're looking at ranked again three thousand plus we're gonna drop similar to what we did before let's just go 80 to 99 sort by average cubes all right uh we've got our red skull type and we've got a lieth ramp uh, all right here's this move version again so it, she makes it into the top three that's that's good according to their their data so solid still uh we're confirming solid i am patriot over here elsa so we she got twice in the top five is she in this one with mobius no so what do we got there two four six eight ten uh there's Eliath. there's elsa so one two three four five 
five of the top 10 spots in untapped.gg when you're looking at 80 to 99. That's an average cubes. That's that's pretty good. Eliath shows up one, two, three, four, five, six, well, seven. Yeah, okay. Lots of Eliath in, the, in their numbers. It's interesting. Isn't it interesting how the two things, like the two, that's why I like to look at all of these sites because they're all of the data. I, you know, I'm trying to gather as much as you can and you sort of try to compile it uh, all together. That's pretty solid. So now let's look at just 100 plus. Okay. Or actually, yeah, let's just do 100 plus. Eliath. Uh, Agatha. What? What? Did I click on? Okay. I don't even know why that's there. Apparently Agatha's doing well. Uh, here's that move also. So she makes the top three again. Two of the top four. These move decks are basically identical though. So uh, let's just say, yeah, it doesn't really count. Here we go. Still two of the top four. Here again with Thanos control. Eliath, Shuri, Loki with Elsa though. M move with Elsa. Move with Elsa. Move. Okay. So we've got her a lot uh, post infinite too. Uh, let's see. For Elsa, we've got her showing up. Let's see. Once, twice three four three four four times i mean she's and then she's you know yeah so she's she's at like 50 percent of the top 10 for sure i'm looking at eliath because basically people talking about that too one eliath two eliath three eliath four eliath five eliath yeah so he, eliath is still pretty heavy in this one all right let's look at conquest for these guys over on uh the untapped.gg is that uh latest patch is all i can do gold yeah let's just have it on gold sort by battle count i think that's games i wish it did Right, we'll just do win rate. Uh, all right, I am Patriot, Shuri, Elsa. There was no Elsa in those other ones. Eliath Ramp. All right, decks below 100 games. Okay, so she shows up here. It looks like they're the untapped.gg's conquest rank. I don't know. I don't really, the data that they've got coming there seems a little bit off, seems weird. So these, uh, she looks pretty good on untapped, honestly. I think that, you know, the decks that she's got, she's showing up in, uh, let's do combined 80 to 100 here. Uh, average cubes, latest patch ranked. Okay. So we've got Eliath, Elsa. So one and one, you know, they're matched up there. Eliath here, Eliath here. So now, well, Elsa here. So they're, we've got three Elias in the top four and we've got uh two elsas so and then elsa no eliath elsa and eliath eliath no elsa eliath no El yeah so there's a lot more eliath according to untap.gg than uh marvel snap zone so you know i think either way right now this is definitely telling me what i think let's get the final final look here at uh, marvel snap.fan I like using Marvel Snap .fan, uh, because we can look at just the card as opposed as opposed to the decks so we've got it set up for the card stats, uh, the last seven days, all collection. We're just looking at ranked right now. But what I, let's look at in deck win percentage. So we'll see if we can find it. Let's actually make sure we do find Elsa here. Uh, where's my girl Elsa? Oof, she, well, I mean, solid, it's a solid win percent, but you know, it's a it's lot of cards above that. Now it's just in deck. So let's see when draw. All right. So Sauron, Typhoid, Mary, Patriot, Sabretooth, Abomination, Red Skull, Apocalypse, Brood, Maria Hill, Kazar, Silver Samurai, The Thing, Misty, Rocket, Cyclo Cyclops, Dagger, Ebony Maw, and then Elsa. So Elsa's at a 61% win rate when drawn. That's pretty good. But you know, it's not the top, 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 but I think that's fine. That's kind of where you want the car a new card to be, especially a season card. I think you want it to be in this, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Top 20. So definitely top 20 card right now. Let's look at the win percentage when played. Hella always dominates this one. Eliath. Look at you, Eliath. That's pretty high. I'm going to have a video coming on that soon. The stats like that aren't going to help my point, but my point will still stand. And if you do like and subscribe, if you want to see, it's my birthday month. I'm trying to get a lot of likes. I'm trying to get 5,000 subscribers. And I appreciate your help if you want to help push there. I appreciate you making it this far in the video either way. All right. So let's find Elsa. Do, 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 do. Wow. Good Lord. All right, so down at 62 here, but after Cloak? What? What? After Miles? After Magneto? Okay, just above Helicarrier? What is happening? That just feels weird. I'm not gonna lie, that just seems weird. I don't understand why that would be the case. Either way, she's got still above 60% win rate when played. I mean, ton of games, obviously, ton, a ton of games. Some of these other ones that are above her don't have a, a lot of games uh, in that time. So it's kind of like, all right, let's let's do this. All right, so she's got the fourth most games seen. So we got Chavez, Jeff, and Mobius, the only cards above her, which makes sense. 
Chavez for uh, consistency. I refuse to say thinning out decks at this point for that card anymore. She does not thin your deck. She guarantees you get her on six. She gives you more consistent one through fives. Uh, and it drops all percentage points to, or all percent chance to get a different card on six to zero. You get her 100% of the time. So you've got to factor that in whenever you're looking at that data. Okay, so I mean, and again, compared to the ones above her win percentage, she has the highest win percentage of these top four win in deck. She's got... I mean, she's squeaking by uh, America Chavez here. Uh, when drawn, as far as highest win percentage, uh, America Chavez, when played, wow. I'm surprised America Chavez has that high of a win percentage for when played. Interesting. I mean, well, comparatively to these other four, I would have not expected, I, I would have thought she would have landed lower. So when played, it's also uh, Elsa's top two there. I, I mean, that's pretty good when you're looking at game scene. And I mean, as far as when is anybody, yeah, it gets down to Dr. Doom and Night, wow, Nightcrawler win percentage wind in deck. 61, none of those are there. 61, yeah, I mean, whoa, a lot. Yeah, I mean, see, that's the thing. Eliath wins when he plays. I mean, that makes sense because that's sort of the win condition for him is you've, you've set up the rest of the game to get Eliath there. So Elsa, meta impact. I mean, well, let, hold on. Let's just look at, conquest just to see what they show here right all right so win percentage there drops a bit 53 percent when drawn oof. uh all right 54 percent getting up there in the rankings and then when play wow so she's not doing so good in conquest according to snap.fan i mean between the three sites i, I think she is definitely a, a top meta card she's made an it meta impact i would say yes she has made an it meta impact so if you're thinking about still buying the season pass she the, the card's good i mean the truth is is you should always be buying the season pass because it's got so much value in it you want it anyway but i think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised well maybe not pleasantly surprised but you will also get another tool from that season pass and a good solid meta impact card so that's what we got again i think we're gonna keep doing this i think this is a fun thing that i can do every you know monday so we can sort of look at the week and review and go did that card make a meta impact what do we see let me know your thoughts in the comments below again ways to improve etc if you want to hammer down the like button i appreciate that if you want to support the channel again trying to get to five guys subscribers for my birthday month i always appreciate that until next time i hope you have a wonderful day